What oh there peasants and welcome, welcome to the Q&A answer session thing. However, the first thing I really must do is big thank you, big, big freaking thank you for the 15, 15,000 subscribers that we got yesterday and today is Tuesday we got on Monday the, what is the Monday yesterday, it was Monday the 6th, we got our 15th thousandth subscriber, so whomever you are, thank you good peasant, you have joined the ranks and you are now the 15,000th member of Chair Vacations Peasants. fan freaking tastic So we are going to start with a couple of questions. I have picked out about 10, so whether or not I actually answer them or not, answer them all in a decent amount of time, will depend, really, I'm sort of glancing there again, I must glance there at you, at you, I must glance there, at you. This is where I must glance. So without further ado, yes that is my knee. My knee. I'm playing that solid. So without further ado, let us answer the first question, which is this. Whoop Greeley asks, Ah, what is his lordship drink of choice? Question mark. I like my ale well enough, but mead, truly fit for a lord. Well, Whoop Greeley, I'm pretty sure your name is supposed to be WP Greeley, because I can see it on the screen right there. What is my lordship drink of choice? Well, <clears throat> I'm gonna have to slap you twice, because once you said, what did you say? You said ale and then mead. For ex well, okay, yeah, fair enough, they are quite lord-like. However, the most lord-like tea is the reason why my video loggy thing is known as Tea Time with Jay, because the most lord-like drink is, of course, tea. It is a ridiculous question. Why would you ask me this? It's quite clear that it's tea. Egypt! You moron! No, I'm joking. Um, no, actually, no, seriously. Not some use. And I'm gonna say... Ooh, Earl Grey? Yeah. Silly boy. Silly question. You should know that by now. Zach Heinkel asks, Jay, I must ask if you like hugs? Question mark. And if I were to meet you on the street, would you give me one? Question mark. Ooh. If, if I look like I have bags under my eyes, which I sort of do, is because I went out last night and it was, ooh, a Facebook message, and it was a bit manic. So, if you just looked at your thing because you went, blum, and you thought, ah, I have a Facebook message. No, it was it. That was my text. Actually, no, that was probably my notification to the fact I just got a Facebook message, which is kind of annoying. Anyway, Zach, yes, I absolutely love hugs. Hugs is what I do. It's what I do. Anyone that met me last year, a year ago, maybe, I hugged. Two people I met the Eurogamer last year, I think, but if you're going to Eurogamer this year, you will guarantee a hug. If you come and see me, I will hug you there and then, and I don't even mind. I don't even care. And yes, if you did meet me in the street and you said, oh my god, it's a I'd be like, oh my god, it's a fan, come here, let me embrace you, let me give you a lord-like hug. So yes, I would, and ooh, to you too. Kino Thunderbolt 4 says, the unsubscribe part was so scary, and then you just went, you looked up my nose, lol, and it was all good. XD. Question, colon, what's the little tune you put at the end of your videos? I absolutely love it and actually nod my head to it. Minus the fart foot. XD. You mean like this? You found this disturbing, did you? Well, I'm going to answer your question like this. <laughs> I'm not going to make a look at my nose either. Ha, oh, lol. No, um, the song is, it's called... Uh, Liberty Bell. It's just known as Liberty Bell. It's the Liberty Bell March. That's what it's called. It's from the Monty Python thing. Um, what's it called? Uh, la, 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 la. Hmm. Flying Circus. It's apparently also on Hogs of War as well. So yeah, Monty Python Flying Circus is where it's actually made famous. But it's called the Liberty Bell March. Liberty Bell March. Look at my beard. Look at it. I Lou Ocean asks, why are we peasants? Spelt incorrectly, might I add. Hmm, Ilu Ocean, why are you peasants? The reason you are peasants is because I'm a lord, and a lord owns land. And I have a little bit of land, but... <coughs> and those who work under a lord are therefore below a lord, so therefore are a peasant. However, you are not a peasant in the terms of dirty agricultural people. You're a, and you've actually spelt it incorrectly. It's peasant, not peasant. A peasant? is the agricultural worker, a peasant, is the, uh, the chainification follow-up. So, it's just a play on words. I'm pretty sure I spelt it wrong one day, and they decided, meh, let's just leave it, and we'll keep it. And it made it fun. So, go and have a look on my, it's on my Steam page. It might be on my Facebook page. I'm pretty sure it's on my YouTube channel as well. The actual meaning behind the words peasant and peasant. 
So yeah, that's the reason why my <coughs> um, one of my t-shirts says what ho peasants, as in peasant, how you spelled it. Because it's referring to the peasants around you, because you are not a peasant, you are a peasant. You're not a peasant, you're a peasant, which makes things even more confusing. I'm above you, and I'm your lord, so do as I command. Kniffin Shadow asks, are you going to do a loop of Guta 5? Pretty sure you missed an E there. So technically you are Niff in Shadow or Kniff in Shadow. Um, I think you missed an E. Unless you did that on purpose, I don't know. But am I going to do a loop of Guta 5 or a let's play of that? GTA 5? I don't know. Um, I don't mind doing let's plays, but whenever I do one, I feel like I have to record everything I do and I can't be bothered sometimes. I do, I could, I could do it. I do have a PVR under there. I do have one, so it's perfectly possible, but I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm, I don't know. I'd like to just enjoy the game, but it's a tough question. I might, I might. I will be in uh, my house by then, so it's perfectly possible that it will happen. Um, in fact, it might do, actually, because I'm going to have my PS3 downstairs, I think, so they might be able to get all of us, all four, doing some sort of running commentary, which could be quite funny, so I might do. I don't know. Possibly. I'm 50-50 at the moment. Ninja of Somewhere asks, My question is, colon, can I send you a potato hidden inside an emergency top hat along with a spare cane and monocle, comma, whilst you gain a million new peasants? Question mark. If not, full stop, I'll make you a whole fortress in the land of Skyrim. Yes, you may. You may send me that if you wish. I would, in fact, I would love you to send me that because I've never had anything sent to me from people on YouTube, which would be awesome. Um, so no, yes, you can. Um, I'd rather you do that than, than build me a fortress in Skyrim because I will get a lot more out of having an, an, an extra top hat and a spare cane and another monocle. And a potato. And a potato. I can power something with that potato. Or I could cook it and eat it. Or I could plant it and grow more potatoes. So oh, I think you're onto something there. But yes, please do send me that. I would love that. Please send me it. I'm being serious, please send me it. I'm not even joking now, seriously send me it. You gonna send me it? You gonna, you, 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 you gonna send me it? Send me it! I want it! Mmm! 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 Josephine8144 asks, What is the funniest thing that's happened to you? Josephine... Why? Why have you asked me this question? Why have I even picked this question? Because it's so damn difficult to answer. Because things that I find funny, other people probably won't find funny. Um. I don't know, I want to sprain my wrist picking up a mat. Could that be um, could that be funny? I don't really know. But I did, I sprained my wrist picking up a mat once. Um, given that it wasn't just a small mat, it was like one of those big like gym mats that you get. You know those big blue ones that you can throw people on? I did two hours of, of martial arts, two hours of ninjutsu, of wrist locks and everything. All on this wrist. Two hours of it and... <sighs> And it hurt, and yeah, I was like doing all these wrist locks, you know, I was doing all this stuff. And then, <clears> to <throat> the end of it, we decided, this random, we never usually do it, but <clears throat> we had to put the mats away. So I bent down <clears throat> to pick up a mat, picked it up, <clears throat> and crack went my wrist. And I went, hmm, that sounded quite loud, but considering the person on the other side of the hall heard it, and said, what is that? And I went, oh, that was my wrist. And they thought, ah, that didn't sound good. So I thought, meh, doesn't really hurt. Got in the car. Went home, woke up the next day, couldn't move my wrist, could not move it. Absolute agony. I was like, Mother dearest, I need you to escort me to set. Broom, broom. Check your Facebook, guys. <clears throat> I want. I need you to escort me to the hosp to the hospital because I think I might have broken my wrist or something. I don't know. So anyway, got to the hospital, and the woman in the X-ray was like, "I need to give you an X-ray, love." In fact, went to the hospital, and the guy said, "Right, what's your name?" I was like, "My name." And he goes, okay, you haven't been in a while. And I thought, hmm, have I really not? When was the last time I was here? And he goes, oh, you were here. This is back when I was, what, 18 or 17, 18? He was like, ah, you haven't been here in 18 years. Last time you here, you were born. And I was like, ah, that's intriguing. Thanks for the info. But anyway, she knows, so I tried to do this with my wrist. And she's like, love, you need to turn that far down. I said, I can't turn that far down because I sprained my wrist. That's about as far as I can go. She grabbed my wrist and went bang on it. And I was just like, <laughs> oh, God, you slack. But no, I don't really know. I can't answer that. I don't know what the funniest thing that's ever happened to me is. I've been hitting here with a golf club uh, while my friend was on the phone. He was swinging it around and it mashed me in the face. Parked my car in a ditch on its side. I once fell over at school. My foot got trapped in the, the closing double doors from, from coming out of the canteen. Foot got trapped in it, fell over, 
had a cupcake in my hand, did a commando roll, got back up. Cupcake was fine. Did that once had a fight with a bench in town. I was walking, reading a map. Fell over the bench. Sort of commando rolled. Got back up, carried on walking. I won. Bench is still there, but I don't even know. Sorry, Josephine, I can't answer that. I don't know. I don't know what the funniest things are happened to me. And you've annoyed me now, because I'm going to sit all day trying to think about the funniest things that happened to me. The Welsh Badger merely states, Hello, Lord Sir J. Hello. Hi. Lewid O'Connor Ferno asks, How long is your little finger? Touché, Lewid. But if that's how you say your name, I'm sorry. It might have to be, it might be a misspell. Yeah, chances are you might have misspelled that. Your name might be Lewis. So if your name is Lewis, hi Lewis. If your name is Lewid, then hi Lewid. But uh, how long is your little finger? I don't know. I don't have a, uh, a ruler here. Or do I? Have we got a ruler in here? Oh god, that's all going to fall over. Hang on a minute. Let me just see if I've got a ruler in here. Uh, I do not have a ruler in here. Oh, yes, I do. Ruler! My little finger is. Hmm. I'm going to do it from from this point, you know, from the bit here. My little finger is. Do I do it in inches or centimeters? I'll do it in both. My, um, that's probably the wrong way around. I shouldn't be doing it that way. My little finger is. Seven centimeters. My little finger is seven centimeters, apparently. My little finger. That's my little finger. That's this thing here, okay? <laughs> that's seven centimeters. There you go. My little finger is seven centimeters. Pretty sure someone just knocked on my door. Munjai Mash asks, Why are you called Chaification? So the final question, I'm wearing my London. London tan. London, look. Lon London tan. London tan. Well, why am I called Chaification? I actually don't know. I can tell you the meaning of Chaification, but, um, one, well, obviously, I'm Che. So I thought, right, my name should probably have my name in it. So, okay. And I was sat there one day and thinking, what's a... Hmm... What's a word that sounds good? And I thought, right, uh, Ificate, and I was like, oh, Chaificate? No, that's Chaification. I thought, oh, Chaification sounds. There's someone at my door. One moment. Come out, mate. I didn't come to check the fire extinguisher. Lol. You fucking do that, you bastard. Anyway, um, so why am I called Chaification? Well, Che is obviously my name, and the Ification part, if I go on a. If, I, if you Google Ification, it comes up with. Wiktionary or wiki, wiki yeah, Wiktionary. Ification comes from an old French of ification or from Latin efficacia or efficacia. I don't know how to speak Latin, so is it me or am I going? It's a suffix, basically. Ification. One, ify. Chaify is to become. And then you've got the ic, which is a characteristic quality and an adjective, and the ation, which is a process or nominal, the process of becoming. So basically, chaification is the process of becoming che, and it's something that you people will never earn. Well, you might. No, you won't. You will never earn chaification status because you can't become me, because I am me. So basically, chaification means the process of becoming che. It's a process you have to go through in order to officially be a man. I'm sorry, but you will never earn that. Ever. Ever. You will die, and you'll be like, on your gravestone, it will say, never managed to earn chaification status. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but it's what happens, really. The process of becoming chase. So there you go, guys, there is. No, no, no. They've buggered off now. They've buggered off. Right. So, yes, there you go. There is your ten questions that we answered today. If you want me to do any more Q&As, I will do them, because they're actually quite a bit fun to do these videos. I quite enjoyed it. So, I'm going to go and edit this now. It will take a while. A while, indeed. Mmm. It's quite nice outside. I really want to go out and get an ice cream. I had an ice cream yesterday, and I really want another one. Is that bad? It's kind of bad, I guess. Oh, well. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give it a good thumbs up. Don't forget to go check the Machinima video, which will be on the end of this video. It's probably the one on the right, I should think. And just go and check it anyway. Make sure you're subscribed. If you're not already subscribed, give it a like and a thumbs up. And go and check out my links down in the description. My t-shirts, my Twitter, my Facebook, my Steam, and all that. Go and join it. Become a perfect peasant. Become an honorary peasant. If you join all of them, you become an honorary peasant. And you can buy an honorary peasant t-shirt, so do it. Enjoy the video, chaps. And I shall see you when I see you. I'm going to stare you down now.